So now that we know the general equation of a line, uh, once again, y equals mx plus b, let's go ahead and practice uh, graphing some lines. So let's say we have, let's say we have um, y equals 3x plus 1. So let's go ahead and uh, graph this line. So the first step to graphing a line is there's several, there's several ways to graph a line, but the way I like to do it is to make an x-y chart. So I have uh, x on the left and y on the right, and I essentially plug in values for x and see what I get for y. And that describes the relationship um, with the chart, and then I can go ahead and plot those points that I get and connect the points to make the line. So let's go ahead and start with the first thing. So let's plug in values for x. So the first value I usually plug in is 0 because it's the easiest. So 0 times 3 is a 0. And then 0 plus 1 is just 1. So if I plug in 0 for x, I get 1 for y. So the relationship states, whatever this is, it could be minutes. Um, like x could be the minutes and y could be the cost of taxi. X could be, um, x could be th the number of almonds you eat and the number of calories you receive, whatever, whatever. So if I plug in zero, I get one for y. Now let's, let's do a couple more points. So let's say I plug in one for x. If I plug in one for x, I get three times one plus one. That's equal to y, right? So let's see what that is. So three times one is three. Three plus one is four. So if I plug in, <clears throat> so if I plug in one for x, then I get four for y. So one, four. Let's do one more point. Let's let's plug in two. So we're gonna have three times two plus one. I just substitute two for x. So now let's see what we get for y. We get three times two, which is six, and then six plus one, which is seven. So that equals seven, which is equal to y. So two, seven. So these right here, so let me draw a different color. So these right here are the points that we need. So let's let's write our points in uh, you know in, in in point format. So we have zero one parentheses, we have uh, one comma four, and we also have two comma seven. We can get we can get as many points as we want, but usually if you if you know if you have two points, whatever the points are. Then if you connect the two points, then you have a line. So two points is usually enough, unless your teacher asks for more. So in this case, we did three just to be safe. So now let's go ahead and draw an x-axis and a y-axis and and get to graphing. So let's. So this right here is our. So right here is our y-axis. Let's draw our x-axis now. So that's our x-axis, so let's label them, so this is x, don't forget the arrows, and this right here is the y. Alright, so let's plug in, our, or let's plot our points, and actually before we plot our points, let's, let's do some more labeling. So this right here is 0, this is, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, and so on. This right here, you can scale it. Uh, you know, you can scale it however you want. So we can scale the y-axis by twos, for example. So let's go by two. So that's two, four, six, eight, and ten. So it, it doesn't matter how you scale. Um, you know, the, one reason you would scale this differently is is if your y values are huge. For example, if you have uh, like if your points are zero comma like one hundred and like one comma one fifty. And so on. Then you you would you would plot your y-axis maybe by fifties. Maybe you start with 50, 100, 150, and so on. So anyway, let's let's go ahead and plot our points. So so our first point is zero one. So we're going to plot in. We're going to plot zero comma one. So we start at zero with the x-axis and we go up one. So if that's two, then halfway would be one. So somewhere around here. So that's our first point. Our second point is 1 comma 4. So we go to the right 1, and we go up 4. So 1, 4. That's 4 right there. Okay, last point. 
2 comma 7. So we go to the right 2, 1, 2, and then up 7. So all the way, so it's between 6 and 8, so somewhere around here. Perfect. So now we have our now we have our line. Let's go ahead and connect these and draw a line through them. And remember a line goes both ways infinitely. So you draw an arrow. And we are done.